Hello, so we are back and this time we have a nice battery and laptop to repair. Free battery unlocking? Yeah. But we're gonna speak about that later. Now, this is a job which is coming from a computer business. Hi, sorry, in HP Pavilion we locked battery. Can you do your magic, please? Thanks. Yeah. Of course, we can work some magic. Now, near to the Christmas, yeah, it's Christmas magic. Now, just because the customer is telling me to unlock the battery, that doesn't mean we should do it straight away. So we should check first. Maybe it's not a locked battery. Maybe it's a faulty uh, charging circuit. We have no screws at the laptop. And the laptop is open. Yeah. So what about the laptop? The laptop is working. We, we have to test that many times and you have to trust me many times i got like battery jobs or uh, motherboard repairs for like a do like a dodgy charging port so this is a hp and uh, if the charger id pin which is on the middle yeah the plus is not on the middle is the charger id pin which is a pin on the middle let's say it's broken uh, you plug the charger, the white light, it will come, like the charger is plugged, but it will not charge. It has to be an orange light. So yeah, you know, mistakes can happen. That's why we have to check. So we have 19 volts. Plug in the charger and the laptop is taking some current. Let's press the power button. Pressing the power button and the laptop, it is coming on. But doesn't look like it's charging. We have like zero, zero point six amps. Yeah, the bio, the BIOS is getting reset every time you disconnect the battery because it's not a BIOS battery onto the board. And the laptop is working. Yeah, we do have picture. But as soon as we unplug the charger, the laptop is going off. But still, that doesn't mean the battery is locked. So what do I want to do? I want to come with my power supply. So what is the battery voltage? I mean, yeah, you can check with a multimeter uh, the battery, but that doesn't mean the battery is good. We have 11.3 on the battery. So just because you have no voltage on the battery, that can be because the battery is discharged or it's over discharged and the laptop doesn't charge the battery. So the, the voltage on the battery is zero volts, nothing. So we have no voltage output. What about checking if the battery is taking current? So we are trying to push some current into the battery. I mean, this is the plus. You can see the plus on the battery. Not sure if you can see it. So the plus is coming here, here, here to this MOSFET. This is the comeback MOSFET. So um, when you unplug the charger, the current is going on this direction, yeah, to the main power rail. So minus and plus. And no, you can see it's taking some current, but that's not the current taken by the battery. It's current taken by the, by the laptop. Even if I unplug the battery, you'll see the laptop is taking about the same current. Check that, you can see. Yeah. So the battery is taking no current. So what is the reason? This is not that a whole laptop, the cells are not like uh, solo. I mean, everything is looking fine. Hmm? Let's find out. Now we know for sure this battery is faulty. Let me grab the NLBA analyzer. We have the analyzer and we need a connector. We have the connector. Let's plug the USB. Plug in the USB. Now we need 19 volts on the power port. There is like a round pin uh, Toshiba Asus connector. We have 12, we need 19. 19 volts, power is plugged in, and now we said the plus is here. So red is plus. And plus is on one side, then we have minus on the other side here. Then we have clock and data. Let me bring the program onto the screen. And the battery is connected. So what is the problem with this battery? Huh? 
we have a bad balance. We have actually one cell, which is 3.6 volts, one which is 1.4 and 1.5. Buy one you, yeah, together with me, together, okay? Together we are doing this. We are checking the screen on the cycle count. And the cycle count, it's one. So this is a brand new battery. Now let's, uh, let's read all the data. So the battery is 3108-2023, yeah? Capacity, of course, the battery discharge. Health of the battery, check the health. I just want you to check the health. This is the health bar. This is 100%, 100% a brand new battery. I'm just saying, because most of the time, not most of the time, like always, there is a problem with the battery, not actually the cells are used. Very rare when I find, I'm finding a battery, which I cannot repair it with uh, the calibrate option of the software. Uh, let me power off, calibrate. We have here calibrate, so you can calibrate a battery. And people are using this function very often because the customers, they will keep the laptop plugged in and the power management chip, it will misread actually the capacity of the battery in order for the power management chip from inside the battery to know exactly the capacity and how good is the battery. The laptop has to discharge the battery fully. Then the user has to plug the charger and the battery will be charged fully. On that way, the power management chip from the battery to always know the state of the battery. But when all is, you have the charger plugged into the laptop, then the user is unplugging the charger, is taking the laptop in another room, then 10 minutes, half an hour later, plugging back to the charger. And yeah, you understand what I mean. So this is a brand new battery that, and that's why we are repairing batteries. Yeah. So what do we have to do? is we don't have access if the battery is locked, yeah, it's taking no current, so no way for us to uh, calibrate the cells. So we have to get access to the cells, balance the cells very easily, then unlock the battery. Now, I don't want to, you know, I just want to keep the battery as new, so I'm going to do like here, an incision surgical incision and we're gonna try to balance the cells so a tiny incision here light not deep good and now we have access inside of the battery wait one second you won't believe what is here. What is this? What is this? So actually someone tried to repair the battery? Definitely this is not me. Okay, it's okay, you know, it's fine. Yeah, probably the computer uh, the computer business, they try or they found a burn fuse. Uh, kind of dodgy that fuse, so I'm gonna rebuild it. You know what, maybe the computer business, it will have a chance let's say we found a burn fuse, then calibrate, yeah, balance the cells first before, uh, before repairing the fuse. Then you repair the fuse and you can have a chance to get unlocked by itself. Probably not, but you can have a chance. But if you just make the fuse without checking the batteries, because you can check them with the multimeter, you don't need uh, a special machine to tell you the, the battery voltage. Now it's looking better. That's how uh, it's supposed to be. So, in order to check the cells, yeah, we can check the voltage with the multimeter. So, this cell has uh, 1.5. This one has 3.6. Yeah. And this one, 1.4. So, all we have to do is to come with the power supply. Let's lower the, the voltage is not that important. It's uh, the current is more important. Uh, like two amps. So charging the cell, the, the, it's taking like two amps and the voltage is going up. And that's how we are bringing the cells. Uh, we have to bring the cells 
exactly like this one, 3.6 volts. I think we should be fine. So here we have 3.6, here we have 3.6, and here 3595. Let's connect the battery again to the NLBA. Read all. It's saying it's a poor balance, but the battery is still locked. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and reset uh, the battery. Let me power off, reset, power on, uh, new, good. Uh, yeah, that's the firmware. The battery is sealed, we're going to unseal the battery. Richip info, it's unsealed. We do have a bit there, one. I'm gonna clear the chip errors. Errors clear, read chip info, and now that bit which was one here is not there anymore. I'm gonna seal exit boot, and let's go now and battery info read all and the battery is unlocked you can see here so now if i go on the charge tab start charging and now we can charge the battery you can see here the current so that's the current which um, is pushed inside of the battery so what will happen now i'm gonna leave it on charge a little bit because the cells they will get even better balance um, after the battery it will charge we left the battery like 15 minutes and uh, i believe should be fine let's check one more time and the battery is unlocked it's a poor balance but i'm okay because after the video i will uh, run a calibrate on this battery but still the battery should be fine should charge fine Let's plug it into the laptop and let's check together. So we have the laptop here. The battery is plugged. And if we are pressing the power button, the laptop is coming on. The battery is unlocked. Let's plug a charger. 19 volts, plug in the charger. And let's see. We have like 2.3 amps. Check there. So clearly the battery is charging. Yeah, the laptop is working fine. Enter to restart. Yeah, I can feel the charging coil is hot. And that's normal. And we have the charging sign on the screen. Unplug in the charger. And the laptop is still on. So everything went great. Plug in the charger back. Yeah, we have like 2 amps there. Let's shut down the laptop and let's check the charging current. Now the laptop is off, we have the orange sign and it's taking 1.7 amps. Mm -hmm. We made a customer happy, yeah. The NLB is a fantastic tool and uh, I'm a supporter of this particular tool. Now there is a misconception about the, the analyzer. Whatever you see on the screen can be accessed without a subscription. Uh, the only thing what required a subscription is actually the reset the unlock function. I said on the beginning, free battery unlock, and that's right. So the Christmas offer for the analyzer is this one. So if you buy an LBA, an LBA is basically the interface. You don't have to buy the interface. You can, you can use a different interface. You don't have to buy this one in particular. But if you buy the interface, you have one year free battery unlock. So you can do how many unlocks you want. You can figure it out on one year if it's worth or not. So you have one year to play for free. The second offer is if you buy the, the box itself, you can get, uh, you can get a hundred dollars discount from the box price. And also you'll get 10 days uh, repair license. Yeah, that's mean unlocking. And the last offer, if you buy like a 10 years license, you will have uh, $300 off. So the NLB just, you know, suddenly uh, became uh, more affordable, even for the hobbyist people. Now, have in mind, in order to benefit from this offer, you have to use the coupon code from the screen. Proper cool, right? Yeah.
And to have like one year free unlocking. Now for what is next, I will apologize to the subscribers of this channel. So what is next for the channel uh, supporters? I want to say thank you. And Sunday, we're going to have a second giveaway um, with a NLBA with one year free unlocking license. Uh, this is this is brand new, just arrived. I will leave it like how it is. Uh, you can win this one Sunday on the coffee stream. Uh, we're gonna pick a winner from uh, from the members, from the supporters of this channel. And again, I, I feel bad and I will apologize again. But somehow I have to reward them. Remember we do members only videos, so I'm not holding the members only videos. I'm whatever's members only videos I'm uploading, the next day it will be public for everyone. And, and I'm sorry for that. So if you are a channel member and supporter, please come uh, Sunday on our coffee stream and you have a chance to win this. Remember last time, it was like two months ago and someone from Serbia won this uh, NLB analyzer. He got it, he used it and he's happy. Okay, so I'm going to stop now. Just check the link on the description. You have the NLB link there. And see you on the next one. Bye.